before we talk about all the games today, let me recap day two. The Boston Celtics blew out the Miami Heat, and at one point they were leading 91 to 59. The only highlight for that game was that Caleb Martin recklessly hurt Jason Tatum. It was a freak accident, nothing to worry about. Positives for the Heat, Jaime Hawkes Jr. showed up with 16, Bam with 24, but they need more for Tyler Hero. And as for Boston, almost everyone showed up, including Sam Hauser and Peyton Pritchard. Now, Mavs Clippers. Clippers dominate the Mavs, including in that second quarter, but the Mavs only scored 8 points. Luke and Kyrie both have 30 points each, but for the Clippers, it was James Harden, Russell Westbrook, and Ivica Subac. Pacers Box is a classic case of a veteran team showing the young guns how it's done. For the Pacers, Siakam showed up with 32. For the Box, Damian Lillard had 35 in the first half. But in the second half, it was Chris Middleton with 22 and Brooke Lopez with 15. And same goes with Bobby Portis. If the Bucks can win two games without Giannis, though, the Pacers are in trouble. And Thunder Pelicans was one of the best games up until that point. Two young teams trying to prove that they belong. The Thunder, the Thunder had a slow start here. Well, both teams have. 17 first quarter points each and then 43 second quarter points at halftime at least but it was SGA being clutch got MVP chance and the Thunder beat the Pelicans for the Pelicans Trey Murphy showed up now for the games today let's okay for the Cavs Magic Cavs have now lead the series 2-0. The Cavs just simply outclassed the Orlando Magic. And without a capable shooter on that team, I just don't see Orlando winning a game. They might still win in Orlando though, but this might be a 4-5 game series. Donovan Mitchell once again showed up with 23. Jared Allen with a 20 rebound game. He also had 16 points. The Cavs are head and shoulders a much better team than the Orlando Magic. Now, Sixers and the Knicks. This was a back and forth game. Tyrese Maxey and Joel Embiid showed out with 30 points each. And despite the fact that both teams are legitimately hurt, one is sick, the other has knee issues. The rest of the Sixers have to step up though. But they might try so in game 3. For the Knicks. It was once again Josh Hart with another 20 point game. Hartenstein this time around. With a double digit scoring. With 12. Even though Jalen Brunson was struggling to shoot. He still had 20 plus points. But. We will remember this game for that wild sequence in that last few seconds of the game. Where the Sixers were leading 101 to 96 with 28 seconds to go. And Jalen Brunson shoot a prayer 101 to 99. And then in the inbounds, Kyle Lowry had a reckless inbound to Maxi, which then lose the ball. Which then ends up in the hands of DiVincenzo, which shoots a tree, miss, Hartenstein rebound, then another shot for DiVincenzo, tree, make. It was 101 102 at that point, and the Knicks never looked back. Oh, and clutch defense by Hartenstein on Tyrese Maxey. And now the laughable game <laughs> Lakers Nuggets. Look, the Lakers. Played a 99.9999% of a game. They were able to shut down the Nuggets except for Jokic. AD was cooking in the first three quarters. D'Angelo Russell was cooking all 
game. LeBron was cooking in the second half. But you know these Nuggets, man. Despite the fact that they were down 20, they were hanging in there. They were chipping in. Jokic, AG, and Jamal Murray who, had, who shot 6 of 8 from the field in that fourth quarter. Gee, if the Lakers could stop complaining about fouls, though, they would have won this game. That's why they lost this game, though. They, they keep complaining about fouls. Like, chill. They gotta chill. And so Jamal Murray, they made key features down the stretch, though. The Nuggets. Final seconds, LeBron put up a prayer of a tree. Tie game, 99. No good. And then Jamal Murray with a clutch bucket to put the Nuggets up 2-0 against the Lakers. Here's the point for the Lakers, though. You could have not played any better than you did. And you still lost. You better hope that every single role player on that team in Game 3 showed up. Because that might be your only hope against the Denver Nuggets. And now the Nuggets have won 10 straight games against the Lakers. And they still remain, unfortunately, the Lakers' daddy. <laughs> well, that's it for me. See ya.